again, I can't stress enough that bands, stretchy surgical tubing, etc., are not going to be able to replicate and adequately prepare the athlete for the force stress that they're going to experience when they're throwing a ball or even swinging a bat at high speeds. The way to do this is to use weights. Okay? But of course, that opens a Pandora's box of all sorts of other avenues and potential pitfalls. And we're going to address those right now. Another scientific component of this program is the use of high velocity movements. We call them explosive movements. Now these can be very beneficial for an athlete and they're becoming more commonly used among athletes and coaches, etc. However, I do want to warn that the athlete and the coach guards against what we would call the shortcut effect. What this involves basically is using high velocity or high speed explosive movements before an athlete is adequately prepared to do so. Let me explain more. The high speed and high velocity movements place a lot of stress on the tendons which are very elastic like rubber bands. However, tendons and joints in general have a lower capillary density. What that means is they get less blood flow, less blood supply, which means less nourishment of healing products, uh, healing properties, etc. Explosiveness can be gained in a short period of time using these explosive movements. The other downside of the shortcut effect is this. Without adequate progressions like stepping stones, the athlete often will peak prior to actually reaching their full potential from using explosive movements. So it's best to integrate specialized progressions into a training program to reduce injury risk and the tendons and the joints, as well as increase the effectiveness of the program in the long run. The next scientific step of this program is the progressions. We call it periodization when we refer to it from an Eastern European standpoint. Basically what this does is as I mentioned earlier, it helps reduce the risk of injury and bring the athlete to a higher peak in terms of their ability to throw harder, jump higher, increase their strength to their fullest potential, etc. Proper joint focus and unique angles are also very important. What you want to do is, when you're training yourself for throwing a ball faster or swinging a bat with greater power, you need to again target the most powerful joints in the body. And in doing so, you need to understand the process of loading the muscles with energy. There's an eccentric and a concentric component to muscle contraction as well as muscle loading of energy and of course exerting energy. By understanding this and implementing this into our uh, unique S program or smart strength program, what we've been able to do is maximize the gains that an athlete can get from strength training. The configuration or order of exercises is also very important. What exercise goes first, which one comes second, goes third, fourth, etc. Having a very, very um, sound configuration and order of your exercises again helps maximize the effectiveness of the training, making this program a smart strength program as opposed to one of the common programs out there. And lastly, what's most important is the effect of implementing these scientific principles into a training regimen.
As you can see, our Smart Strength program is rooted in science. It's characterized by explosive or high velocity movements, which are made more effective and safer through our unique progressions. It's also characterized by unique angles as well as proper joint focus. Furthermore, we have a unique configuration of the exercises. The effect, as you've seen, is profound. I'm Chris Morton with EFS-TV.